Everybody. Welcome to Talking Horticulture. To mark World Bee Day, we're going to do a short demonstration about how to make a solitary bee box for your very own garden. So I'm going to show you three different methods. One is using hollow stems from different plants from around the garden. One is for drilling holes in a log, and the other is for cutting up bamboo. So without further ado, let's crack on. The simplest method, we're going to get a log and we're going to drill some holes. The size holes that we're going to drill are 6, 8 and 10 mil and uh, you just want to get as many holes into the log as possible and get them as deep as possible. The deeper the holes are, the, the more habitat you'll have for your solitary bees to go in and lay their eggs. So simply get your drill bit, get your drill. This takes a bit of time but it's well worth it. until you get your log as much holes in as possible. Very important to keep, use dry logs as it will drill much easier. And then simply go and hang this on a sunny wall or on a fence like this and you have perfect habitat for solitary bees in the log. So next up is a solitary bee box made out of old bamboo. So simply all you need is to get some old bamboos from your garden varying sizes ideally and the hollower the better so simply just get your bamboos and cut them all to the right length this will take a bit of time you can use a sharp scissors or a saw or, or a table saw if you have it um, and then once you have them all cut up you'll have all your bits and you'll simply stack them into your box like this with the holes facing out it might take a bit of time to get it right and then simply go out put it in a sunny position in your garden near some flowers and job done Last but not least, very similar to the bamboo solid degree box, this is one made out of native Irish uh, perennial plants such as hogweed and cow parties as you find on the ditches and uh, hedgerows around the country. So these are just ones that I cut last, last, last autumn and I dried them out in the shed over the summer. Again, very simple to cut with the secateurs, cut them to the right size, stick them in the box and job done. So I hope that gives you a bit of insight about how to make your very own solitary bee box for your own garden. Solitary bees are the local heroes. They pollinate very close to where their box is. They don't travel very far. They're very docile creatures and they won't sting you. So these boxes are really, really great to promote pollinators in your own garden. And I hope that this has given you a bit of knowledge to make your very own. If you like what you saw today, our next episode on the podcast is airing this Friday on Biodiversity. Join us on YouTube or Spotify for more.